Joining me today on Impact Catalyst is the Program Supervisor for Help Me Grow Florida, Caprice Edmond. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Wonderful. It's good to see you. Good to see you as well. So this is exciting. Uh, it's a fantastic new free service. Just been going a couple of months now. Uh, let's let's get started with digging in a little bit to what Help Me Grow offers. So I am very excited to share that Help Me Grow is a children's home society program. And what we offer is developmental and behavioral screenings for children zero to eight years of age. And with that, we're able to provide referrals. So if based on the screener, there's an indication of additional screenings or testing needed, we can refer the parent of the child to fiddlers or early steps, which can further assist them. There might be times where a screener isn't completed, but a family has other needs, whether it's clothing, childcare, and things of that nature, we're able to assist them. So that sounds like a really great service. How does someone engage with the service? If someone would like to engage with Help Me Grow, they can either give me a call. My number is 727-365-5421. They can visit our website, which is chsfl.org forward slash help me grow. We also have um, educational materials with this information on it. So obviously it'll vary a little bit by age, but what what can uh, folks expect if they start one of the screenings? How do those kind of run? So parents have the option of completing the screening at home. They get online at our website. And when doing that, it will the information will come back to me and I'm able to review it, call the parent, go over the results of it, and basically talk to them about next next steps and developmental activities for their child. Um, between zero and eight. I mentioned earlier referrals for fiddlers or early steps. So if they are between zero and three years of age, we would refer them to early steps. And if they are school age, four and up, we would um, connect them with fiddlers. Got it. And, and so what are some of the things that you're screening for? I, uh, if we're not familiar with fiddlers or early steps, uh, what are some of the services they provide that you would refer into? So early steps, it's another way of helping children and families meet milestones, developmental. So between zero and three, you're supposed to be able to do certain things at certain uh, stages in life. And the same thing with fiddlers. For example, fiddlers can provide parents additional information about not only the milestones, but they can help them with advocacy for their child within the school system and how to obtain an IEP, which is an individualized education plan. Got it. And is it, you know, is it, are you have the philosophy that every, uh, it's worth every child going through the screening or every family should, should use the screening or are there certain sort of indicators that say, hey, a screening may be in order? So I think a screening is just a great step of knowing what milestones your child has accomplished by a certain age. And with that, you're able to know what additional things they need to work on. So it's no harm in knowing what is developmentally appropriate for your child. And maybe in a few months, maybe they're just behind a little or maybe they're behind significantly and having additional services in place will benefit them. So I think it's great for all. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, and we, I mentioned at the beginning that this is a relatively new program. So how did it come to be finally here in Pinellas in the last couple of months? So Children's Home Society received the grant from um, Children's Forum. So we are fully funded by the Children's Forum in the Division of Early Le Learning. And this is also a part of a statewide and a national program. So throughout the state, there are other affiliates of Help Me Grow. But back to Pinellas County. So I was hired in March, at the end of March. So we've been up and running about almost two months and things are going great. We've reached out to various partners within Pinellas County community. And we have a leadership team with you know, Early Learning Coalition, Head Start, um, healthy families, and just the list goes on and on and on. So we're great. off to a great start. 
Sounds like it. Uh, and, what, and what drew you personally to it? What, what made this the right role for you to take? So I have a passion for helping children and families, a passion for early education. And that is what stood out to me. How can we ensure that families and children have the resources they need prior to entering the school system? Or once they're in the school system, how can we make sure that their needs are being met? That's great. And how important, you know, are the those early years? A lot of people think, you know, that it all starts with school, but a lot of science says those zero to three years are, are the most important. You, the zero to three years are crucial. It's critical from prenatal care to what happens during the first few months. It's the foundation of early learning. So again, ensuring that the children and the families have what they need to be successful is key. Yeah, makes sense. So you're in that nice position of being fully funded. So really anybody watching this, how they can how they can uh, help is, well, first, if they have a family, you know, sign up for the screenings, but then spread the word. Is that kind of the, the, the main goal right now is just to get the word out? Yes. So what we're trying to do now is reach more families, establish relationships with more partners, and just move from there. This is a countywide program, and we do have a care coordinator that's bilingual. So we will be expanding our reach throughout the county. That uh, sounds like a fantastic new free re- resource. We'll certainly have the, the website here on the bottom of the screen and encourage anyone watching to uh, get a screen for their, for their family. Thank you. Yeah.